Right here in Connecticut, a lot of people are excited to watch the wedding on TV. News 8's Annie Rourke live in Clinton, where they're gearing up for a viewing party. Annie, where's your hat? <laughs> <laughs> I should have a hat, Kristen, you're right, right, just to get in the mood. Unfortunately, I forgot one this morning. But we are here at the White Dress by the Shore, which is a bridal shop in Clinton. And, of course, millions, they think billions of people will be watching this wedding this morning. But it is so important to people who are actually in the industry because this will affect people in the bridal business for years to come. Joining me now is owner Beth Chapman. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So I guess the biggest issue, of course, is the dress that Kate will be wearing. And you think that this will be affecting brides, maybe not this year, but next year? Absolutely. I mean, I think this is going to set trends for decades. You know, Diana's wedding gown was talked about and copied and replicated for years and years. So I think this will set many, many trends. And everybody's speculating, of course, on who the designer is and what it will look like. You have some ideas yourself? I do. It's so exciting that we don't know. I think that's the best part about it. And I really think, you know, she's getting married at Westminster Abbey where kings and queens have been cr crowned for years. So I think it needs to be very royal, very elegant. This gown here from Modern Trousseau, I think, is something that was similar to what I think she should wear. She definitely needs some coverage, a sleeve. I'm hoping that her silhouette is a little bit more fitted with some fullness at the bottom to show off her fabulous figure. And of course she needs a long train. So the mermaid fit has been a little bit trendy lately, which is a little bit tighter around the hips. Do you think she'll do that? Because, of course, she has to be very conservative. She does. Conservative is key for this royal wedding. I'm hoping that it's a little fitted through her high hip and then it gets fuller towards the bottom so that we do see a little bit of her amazing figure. And then, of course, with a long, glorious train. And, of course, strapless has been very in for years and years, but that's a no-no in Westminster Abbey. Not appropriate in Westminster Abbey. I, I definitely think that we'll see some, some sort of a sleeve, most likely a long sleeve and I'm hoping for a little bit of lace for, for the romance factor. Okay. And so you guys are having a big viewing party starting at 8? We are. We're having a viewing party with industry professionals and brides. We're all coming together to watch it all unfold, and we're so excited. Okay. Great. Thank you so much, Beth. I Thank appreciate you. that. So, of course, a lot of people in Connecticut very excited about this, and as we said, this will impact the industry for years and years to come, so we'll all just have to wait and see how she looks when she gets out of that car in a little less than an hour now. Back to you guys.